Hallelujah. All right, I bring us greetings from our man of God. Uh, so, Pastor is en route to the city of Toronto. And, uh, and I trust God that um, we will hear mighty testimonies from. Amen. The meetings in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Sis, check your charger connection. You are distracted. Check your charger connection. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sorry, who is upstairs? Hallelujah. God bless you. Woo. Amen. Amen. Please, I would like you to encourage me tonight. Yes, ma. It's been a while. Hallelujah. Praise yes, God. Um, so I'll be speaking to us tonight about what I titled finishing your course. Yeah. Yeah. 
And um, I can also say finishing your own assignment. Please, can you sit right? A lot of you are distracting. So when pastor complains sometimes, I used to wonder, <laughs> man of God does it. But some, the way I see some of you, I just feel like, <laughs> <laughs> then go back and focus. Please, just help me. You know I begged you now. Please, just help me. Don't distract me. Don't use your phone. Except you are writing notes or you are taking, you are going, I'm, I asked you to go to your message. Because, you know, everything you do is just um, in my face. Hallelujah. Praise God. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Spirit of the living God, I ask, oh God, that you use my lips of clay tonight to deliver your word and your counsel to your people. Amen. I ask, Holy Spirit, that you break every mold every and shatter every obstruction in our minds that will not receive this word tonight. Amen. I ask, oh God, that you will send this word to heal, deliver, and transform somebody's movement in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your name be glorified. Amen. Amen. Let your people be edified. Amen. And let the kingdom of darkness be terrified. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. Thank you. God bless you. All right, I said that we'll be speaking on what I've titled Finishing Your Cost. So it's not about cost meal. So it's not a um, cost in school. It is not your subject in class. It is not the courses you do in class. This course is the course that heaven has given to you. So I can also say finishing your assignment or finishing your race. Hallelujah. Praise God. My text tonight will be gotten from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 6. We'll be reading scriptures. And please, I would like you to please tune your Bibles to 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 6. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 6. If it's not going to be projected, I will encourage you to please open there so that we read together. Hallelujah. Praise if you are there, say, I'm there. Yeah. You are not there, and you are saying you are there, Sister Kelly. <laughs> if I should see something else entirely. <laughs> Some people's response is auto flow. <laughs> please, if you are not there, please say, Oh, me. God bless you for being honest. All right, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 6 to 8. Let, let's do this together. For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only. But unto all them also that love is appearing. Hallelujah. Praise God. In fact, if I don't preach anything, this scripture is enough to tell you. He says, I am now ready. I am now ready. How many of us are ready? Hallelujah. You know, it might sound like a cliche that, oh, there's a purpose for you, there's an assignment that heaven has giving to you. This scripture is telling you clearly that there is something that God has given to you as an assignment that you are supposed to carry out. He says, I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth. That means it is only, this scripture is telling us, it is only those who finish the course or finish the assignment or finish the race because it is not enough for you to start. You must end at the finish line. It is my prayer that you will not get to the middle of the race and stop in the name of Jesus. Amen. You'll be wondering, what's the assignment? What's the race? This one, you are saying that there is an assignment, there is a race. Scripture told us there is an assignment. And there is a generic assignment that is specific to everyone. So, the body of Christ, Jesus, our Father, told us that we should go ye into the world and preach the gospel. I can say, permit me to say that that is a general assignment for each and every one of us. You can't claim that you are shy and that's the reason why you will not preach the gospel. Mm. No. You have to preach the gospel. It is general. 
It is something that we must all do. We must account for everyone that God has sent our way to preach to. You know, I was talking to Pastor last night, and I, and, you know, a man of God was saying that God sent us, and we are now directing the assignment back to Him. He says, Go ye into the world and preach the gospel. Then we will now go to Him and say, Come, oh God, Maranatha. Come, oh God. What, what is He coming to come and do? He sent you into the world. He said, Go ye into the world, Bio. Go ye into the world, Dickie. Go ye. Just sit down. This is not Pastor. So don't <laughs> Go ye into the world, preach the gospel. Then we now say that we'll come and do so many assignments. We'll now be praying. Father, we pray for souls. We pray for souls to be born, souls to be saved. So the one that sent you, you're now asking him again for souls to be born. What are you supposed to do? Go ye into the world. It is a in fact, there's no, there's, there's no amount of excuse we can give that you are shy. Some of us, we are shy, and the things we post on our status... Oh. <laughs> they are not even... Some of it is unfounded. You've not even used the gospel. You know, Pastor said something, and he's been saying it often and often nowadays, that can you lend your credibility for Christ? Hallelujah. You will feel you are popular. That popularity, what has it amounted to? How has it generated souls for the kingdom? Remember, there's a general assignment, there's a specific assignment. What has God told you, Danny? What has God told you, Kenny? What has God told you specifically to do? Because at the last day, the only people who will wear the crown are the ones who finish their course, Hallelujah. finish the race. It is not a, oh, parapo. <laughs> we want, we, we all went for evangelism. We dance under the bridge. Which soul did you win? Which soul did you win? What has God told you to do? He told you, make music, make melodies for me, that the whole world will be able to dance. Instead of dancing to some, you know, some some whatever song and you just feel that ah, you know i'm not just popular i can't my, my music can't go far like that can you just start and that brings me to the point where every race has a starting every race has a start has a beginning and it has an end can you just start something You've been having that nudging. You've been having that nudge that this is something, this is an assignment heaven has given to me. This is something that you know that you are good at. You know, pastors say something often that whenever you complain about something, that means that you are graced in that direction to fix that thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of us come to church and we feel that church should be like an hotel, that everything should be set and, you know, in place. And when something don't go right, we just feel that, oh, it's, it's, this is not for me. This is not the place I'm supposed to be. That thing you are complaining about, it is a pointer to what you can fix or what God is asking you to fix. You, you feel somebody is not scoring a, a song nice or something, and you are complaining, you, you, you feel that, ah, this person can do better. What have you done to fix those things? Amen. I said, I said, every race has a beginning and it has an end. I would um, say a course is something that, um, let me define course so that we have a direction to what I'm teaching tonight. A course is an act of moving forward in a path from point to point in an orderly process. It's an act of moving forward in a path from point to point in an orderly process. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. Ephesians 2, verse 10. You know, the scripture that we, this second Timothy, help us to understand that each and every one of us has an assignment. And that it is only if we finish our race 
that we are deserving of a crown. It is my prayer that you will not fall by the wayside in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not be tired. Amen. You know, there are people that will say that, ah, those things that you are doing, we've done it before. And it's not, don't go too far. They've said it in this ministry before. What are you doing, God says? This thing that you have carried on your head, we've done it. We've done it. As in I ate we were, we were, you know. And they, they boast in the fact that now their glory is in the past. It is my prayer that you will not be tired. Amen. You will not be discouraged. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The race that is set before you, it is my prayer that you will not be weary in the name of Jesus. Amen. It just says that we should not be weary in well doing. That in due season, there's a reward. Yes, in this in due season, there's a reward. It is my prayer that the reward of serving faithfully, the reward of doing your work diligently in his house, uh, uh, it's my prayer that you will receive in the name of Amen. Jesus. Your position may another not take. Amen. 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 Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. Let's read. Please let's do this together. You know what? We are in greater in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. Hallelujah. This scripture is clearly telling us that when you were born, the moment you were given back to, there is an assignment on your head yeah. that you don't know it. Ignorance is not an excuse in love. Mm -hmm. In fact, in Christianity, when you realize, start. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't say, ah, I'm tired. You know, I've heard someone say that, ah, I'm, I'm too old now to to, to start serving God. I'm too old now to now start. Uh, is it now me that will now be following all these young, young girls? Who are you? Are you ancient of days that you are older than everybody? There are people older than you, richer than you, that will be richer than you that are serving God. It says that we are his workmanship, created in Christ unto good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. That means there is a path. There is a path a course set for you. You are created unto good works. Say, I'm created unto good works. I'm created unto good works. And you will not derail from it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I said something earlier. I said there's a general assignment and a specific assignment. Hallelujah. Praise, God. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. I'm going to read, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness, let us lay aside. Say, lay aside. Lay, lay aside. aside. That means that in this, on this race, somebody can distract you. Mm -hmm. Have you seen all these children when they put them on the line? Oh, there was one I saw. <laughs> so babies, they are supposed to crawl. Their mothers are in front of them. So they're supposed to crawl towards the mother. And you know, the person, the child who gets their cut wins the race. <laughs> In fact, I don't know what to say. Would you tell me for my A child got to in front of the mother. <laughs> it is not to him that we let. <laughs> This is the one in God that shows me. The one that now started last. Sat down, looked down, did all manner of things, crawled, waited, was the one that won. <laughs> Trust me. Your journey is different from another person's yes, journey. Wow. Don't be distracted. Yes. That somebody made it before you or got to their own destiny before you does not mean that they got your own with their own. Yeah. Everybody's blessing has their name on it. When they get there, they didn't put their, your name with their name that, oh, we did this together. So know that your race and my race is personal. Yes, on the last day, husband and wife, brothers and sister, your crown is different. Don't wait and be looking, oh, uh, my brother is is running. Uh, oh, my brother is tired now. Let me also rest. <laughs> do you know that there are some things that, as a believer, when you do it, you might not go scot free. Yes. But let somebody else do it. What jello? Nothing will happen to them. They can do a manner of things. 
But the moment you do it, because you have named, you have been named after Christ, you know what Pastor has been saying? Because the system knows that this one, maybe you say you, you're a believer. No worry. No you say you're a believer. Continue. The moment you, you say that you want to tip somebody, that's why camera will just catch you. <laughs> they will now put it on blog. This guy has been doing this. All the successes that he claimed he had is a lie. This is how he got by. He has been, she's been sleeping around with men. Just because you did it once, you trespassed. <laughs> you will not fall in the name of Jesus. Amen. This scripture told us clearly that there is a cloud of witness. People are watching. Yes, sir. Yes, they are watching. Yes, so lay aside every weight, every distraction that will not allow you to focus on your assignment. Yeah. There's an assignment for you, Bolu. There's something God has called and ordained for you in this ministry. On this earth, you are not a mistake or a byword. You are on this earth for a purpose, a mission, and you will fulfill it in the name Amen. of God. So don't be distracted. Don't feel that somebody is not up and about for the kingdom. Or that when you are calling them that, let's go to church, that is when they feel that they should wash clothes. You can start washing clothes that day and the things that will happen to you. You will know, you will know. Nobody will tell you, you will be able to trace you that. Ah, mother, you know, I, I fumbled. I was supposed to do something, I didn't do it. An unbeliever can do it. Somebody who is just a church goer can do it and they go scot free. But you, because you have been named after Christ, you can't do some things anymore. Lay aside. Say, lay aside. Lay aside. Every weight. Every weight. People who will discourage you, who will tell you your own is too much. Mm. Tell them, what have I done? I've not even killed myself. Somebody laid down his own life. Hello. For me. What have I now done that you are thinking I'm doing enough? I've not done anything. I've not done anything. Let those distractors, let them go. Let them go. If they cannot be changed by you, trust me, they are not supposed to be in your circle. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Lay aside every weight, every superfluity of nothingness. Hallelujah. Praise God. Remember also, I was talking about general and specific assignment. When Moses was going to send, you know, some people to spy out the land for the children of Israel, he called, that was in Numbers, I think Numbers 13 verse 16. He called some people to go, and some of them, because of their small mind, they couldn't see more than their nose. Mm. They couldn't see beyond. They, they just, uh, uh, we can't take this place. So the people we saw there, they will eat us. They will eat us. If we are like grasshoppers in front of you, they are giants. But two people said, no, 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 no. We are able. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. That means that on this race, you must have a different mindset. Mm. When others are saying there is a casting down, you are saying there is a lifting for you. Hey! When others are saying that things are hard in this country, there is no hope, there is no soul for me to cope. You are saying God is my lifter. Yes. God is the lifter of my life. Yes. He is the one that will lift me up and he will ensure that everything I need, the resources I need for his kingdom is delivered into my hands. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. So it means that the people that are around you, you must be sure that they are saying the right thing or they are, they are saying the right thing or they have the right thinking pattern like you. Because you need the mindset of the great to be able to focus on your race. Mm. It is not that the race is going to be easy. It is not going to be easy. He did not promise us that, oh, when you get there, you just everything will fall on your lap. No. Though the road may be tough, I know the one that has my back, the one whose backing I have, is there with me. Even on the fire, even in, in the midst of trials and tribulations, even when things seem like it's not working as, as I pray about it, I will still focus. I will lay aside. I will focus and hold on tenaciously that the God that I serve will not forsake me. Hallelujah. 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 
You must have the mindset, the thinking pattern of the great. So that this race, at the end of the day, you will not be blamed. Mm. You will not get there and be feeling like, I did this, and where is my reward? That will not be your own experience in the name of Jesus. A lot of people have served God, and they've cursed God. They, because they did not see the reward. Because they did not have the right mindset when they were serving. When they were serving, they were looking at the price more than focusing on the master. The person who sent them was no more their focus. It is the price. Now it is the crown that they are focusing on. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. We must have the mindset of the great. Hallelujah. Praise God. So it's important to put away every distraction, every distractor. Distractions can not just be only people alone. It can also be environment. It can also be ambitions that can make you lose focus on the assignment or the race that God has put in or set you on. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise God. God. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Did we read um, Hebrews? Yes, before. Ah, uh, yeah. We, uh, so these are the names of those that Moses sent to us, but Joshua, son of Nun. Hallelujah. Praise God. And many others who said they were not going to go because they felt that, no, 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 no. We can't do this. We, do, we can't. We, their mind was too small to grasp what God has in stock for them. What, what has God put ahead? You know, sometimes when you look at the end, You'll be ginger. You you will, you'll be encouraged. Hallelujah. Praise God. So whatever you are going through, it's just a passing phase. Mm. It is not going to last. Bible says, "Don't weeping may endure for the night." It says, "Joy comes in the morning." Whatever you are going through, it is only a night. Yeah. In the mo the morning is coming. Your own money is coming. Hallelujah. Your season of promotion is coming. Hallelujah. Your season of laughter is coming. Hallelujah. Your season of celebration is coming. Hallelujah. You are celebrated with others who won or who finished their race. You will also be celebrated Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So let's you know zoom down to specific cause or a specific race and um, Luke chapter nineteen. Luke chapter 19, verse 12. Luke chapter 19, verse 12. Hallelujah. Praise God. All right, let me read Luke chapter 19. All right, let's do this together. He said, he said, therefore, therefore, a certain nobleman. You know, you know that thing, Pastor used to say, a certain nobleman. When is a certain person? That means it's not a story. It is actually something that happened. Hallelujah. Praise All right, let's go. A certain noble man went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead. And he called his servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. What did he say they should do? Occupy till I come. The assignment was simple. Occupy till I come. If you do more than that, you are doing out of... You know, Pastor used to say something. When this gospel or when this Jesus is becoming too hard, you are not doing the gospel. Mm. He says, occupy till I come. Don't do anything. And they just felt, this idiot. You think you can just be ordering us around. You, you are going to a far country to go and enjoy they're not saying we we should occupy till I come. <laughs> Continue. You will come and meet your 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 whatever. You will come and meet it. The instruction was simple. Occupy till I come. What has God told you? Specifically, what has God told you to do that you felt that huh, uncle, this Lagos, I got to us. I can't occupy till you come. Whatever you are saying, I should do, I'll come back to you. Can we just focus on the assignment? What Ebon has said to you specifically? Hallelujah. Praise God. It says, occupy till I come. Finishing your course means that you must win. It is not about starting alone. You must finish and get to the end 
point of your race. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ's assignment, his task, or whatever, he, what he has told us to do is to preach the gospel. That is a general assignment, like I said. But there is a specific assignment for some of us. Pastor gave us a goal that was specific to you. What have you done about it? Some might be waiting for God to come or send an angel to Angel Gabriel. Ah, and you see wings flapping. I don't know if you will wait because for me, I might not even be able to wait. And they delivered your assignment to you. The one that your man of God gave you to do, what have you done about it? Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Finishing your course, meaning you must win. Say, I would win. I would win. Hallelujah. Amen. There's a reward for every race. Like we read in that scripture earlier, there's a reward, there's a crown. There are prizes that goes with every race or assignment that God has given to us. There's a prize for you at the end. But prizes are not, those, are, are not for those who attempted. That you attempt, mm -hmm. you don't get prize. The crown is for those who finished, who started and finished the race. It's my prayer that you will finish your race, you will finish your course, Amen. and the assignment Amen. that heaven has delivered to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise, God. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. We are not believers who are running without hope, like we do not have a hope. We are not running like those who don't have, you know, like we don't have a reward at the end of it. We are running our race with the intention and with the, with, the, with the backing of our God. That God, I started this race with you. I started this journey. I started this assignment. Whatever it is, I don't know what God has given to you specifically or what your assignment is in this ministry. So that we don't go too far. You are thinking that, oh, what's my own specific assignment? I just told you about the goal that your own pastor gave to you. What have you done about it? The goal is to win souls. The goal is to depopulate the kingdom of darkness and populate the kingdom of heaven. Don't just pray. Go into the world. The world also means your phone. Whatever it is that you, you, you know, you have your sphere, your sphere of influence. Preach this word to somebody. Let them know that there is a hope in Christ Jesus. A lot of people are hopeless out there. And you have been given an assignment to deliver hope to them. That this Jesus is real. Hallelujah. Praise God. May we not be blamed in the last day in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Examples of those who started or who ran the race. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Number one, Joshua. Joshua, and we're going to be um, reading some of the scriptures. Joshua chapter 1, chapter 1. Hallelujah. Praise God. It might look so simple or seem like the message is so simple, but it should remind you of what your purpose or what your assignment is. And if you don't know it, like I said earlier, there's nothing to had for God to do. Ask him, what is my own assignment? Yes, I know that there is a general assignment for me to win souls to the kingdom, for me to, you know, preach the gospel to people. But what have you called me to do? What is my assignment on this earth? What's the race that you have set before me? Hallelujah. Let's read this together, Joshua chapter 1. All right, want to go. Now, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, back and all these people, unto the land which I do peace to them. Even to the children of 
children of Israel. The instruction started from here. Arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all these people, unto the land which I will give to them, even to the children of Israel. Go ahead. Remember, this is where the instruction started from. Verse 3. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said it unto Moses. Hallelujah. Go ahead. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river of the So, verse, verse 4 gives us the scope of his assignment. Hmm. That this is where you are supposed to, you know, deliver the assignment. Let's read it clearly. From the wilderness and, and this Lebanon, Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river of Egypt, all, all the land of the Hittites, unto the great sea, toward the going down of the sun, shall be your coast. So this is the scope of his assignment. Some people's assignments, maybe God is telling you, you are supposed to be in Lagos, or you are supposed to be in Dubai. What is the scope of your assignment? You need to know. God told him how, where, and how to go about it. Hallelujah. God. Let's go ahead. We are going to verse 8. There shall not be any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee or forsake thee. Hallelujah. Be strong and of good courage. Amen. For unto these people shall thou invite for an inheritance the land which you can swear unto thy fathers to give them. So the God who sent you will not leave you. He will not forsake you. So when you are going, be sure that you have the scope so that you don't derail or you, you are not distracted or you don't leave the scope of your assignment. If everyone is telling you that Oluwa Fumilola, you are supposed to, you know, generate income for me in this area, and I'm doing something in another area, I'm out of scope. Mm -hmm. But God is telling us in verse six and seven. He says, "I will not leave you, nor forsake you." You know, encouraging, be strong, and be that means that race is not going to be easy. Mm -hmm. He's telling you before you started. Be strong, by your, be courageous. Be strong. I will not leave you. I will not forsake you. Be strong. Why would God be telling us to be strong? Shebi is the one that sent us. You know, Yoruba used to deceive us. And turn on in chest. Be strong. Be strong in the Lord. Hallelujah! So when, that means that when the enemy is telling you, oh, idiot, you think you can finish this race? God has told me, he's with me. He will not leave me, he will not forsake me. It might look like the heaven wants to fall, he's not going to fall on me. I am strong, I am courageous. I march on towards the prize of my high calling. I will not be tired, I will not be weak. Storm might be raging, it's not going to consume me. I, I will finish this. Hallelujah. I will finish this race. Hallelujah. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Glory to God. He has given me, he's not going to come down again to encourage you. He has sent his word and he has told you, Encourage yourself, be strong, be courageous. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Praise God. God. Be strong for me. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. It means that on this race, you are not going to die. Yes. Until you finish, you will not die. Yes. Amen. I shall not die. I shall not die. Be strong. Be strong. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, I don't know why the scripture is telling Joshua to be very courageous. If we read further, we might not be able to do it because it's a long story. Oh, this guy, he was just fighting, was fighting. You would have thought that this person that said that ah, we, are, we are able, we are able, uh, and everything should just fall on his lap. <laughs> Be strong, Joshua. 
and be courageous. Hallelujah. Praise God. The God that you serve will not leave you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It is only those who strive to the end that receives the crown. In 2 Timothy 2 5, that we read earlier, remember it told us that it is only the crown is for those who run the race. If a man also strive for mastery, yet is he not crowned except he strive lawfully. Hallelujah. So there is rules of engagement, like I said. So you must ensure that your race, you are not cheating. You are not, you know, doing things to cut corners so that you get ahead of others. You feel that somebody made it and they are in millions and, you know, God told you your own assignment. You are supposed to do, your own is to sing. And you feel that you have to do your own so that you can get to the end of the race. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says it is only those who strive lawfully that will get the crown. Hallelujah. Second Timothy 4 verse 8. It says, henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto them also that love is appearing. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. So number two person that we're going to be looking at is also Esther. Hallelujah. Esther. Amen. We all know the story of Esther. It looks like a good story, a good um, super story that we tell ourselves <laughs> that <laughs> Esther was chosen. Esther, if we read that story very well, ah. Esther was confused. She just got into palace. Yes. The uncle just, ah, oh, we can enter this race together. <laughs> we can enter this race. Put her in the race. She did not know that she was there for a purpose. Mm. That she had an assignment. That a whole generation is hanging on her head. Uh, one small girl from the backside of Leluji. Just so that. It is only me, God, that cares like this. She forgot. Started enjoying the dainties of the palace. That, ah, you imagine when somebody, you know, a nobody now became a queen. But the guy had to remain there. I only was there more. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to kill her. If you think you will escape this killing, you run. You're right. right. And it's true. Because the king that can dethrone his wife, Vashti. I wonder what will happen to Vashti. Maybe they just, because the people in those days, they are very cruel. Cool. Maybe they just say, I'm mean, glory. Just cut this one's head. And you think you're in the palace enjoying because the king favored you. The uncle had to choose her memory. That babe, you are there for an assignment. There is a course set before you. If you like, you don't know me, I'm going to remind you. You're not there to go and enjoy the dainties of the palace. They are about to kill your... Very soon, you will be the only one. And that's if you escape. Esther had to tell them, tell my uncle, all of you must not eat. For three days, we will fast. Shebi is this race. You think I'm going to do it alone? It's a general assignment. We will fast and pray. And the Lord heard our prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are people that God has given a specific assignment. What have you been given as an assignment in that family? You must know your role. You are not every child. You are not any child. Your parents might give birth to 10 children. You are unique. Yes. You are unique. And that's why your fingerprints, they can't use your brother's own. Mm. It is unique to only you. You have your unique assignment. When you show up in that family, there must know somebody showing up. You are not ordinary. See, I'm not ordinary. I am not ordinary. You should know your assignment in that family. Some of you, your assignment is to reconcile your family. Your assignment is to destroy the the, the whatever uh, idol they are worshipping in your family, your assignment in that family is to ensure that that family's name is put on the map. That when they hear the name of Ke, they know that somebody 
transform this family. Your assignment is to ensure that that family's name or heritage does not go down. Your assignment in your family is to ensure that everybody in your family is a believer. Have you fulfilled your assignment? Or you are happy that, oh, thank God, you me and Kukuma are a Christian. And people in your family are wallowing in unbelief. They are not believers. And you are celebrating that you are the only believer. Say, I will not miss my, my, will, my will assignment miss in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Esther was jolted back. Somebody tonight is being jolted back. Amen. That there is a purpose for you in that family. There is a purpose that God has sent you. You are not a mistake in that family. Yes. God sent you into that family to change the narrative of that, of that family. Some of you, you have never traveled out before. Or your family, nobody went to school. Nobody is a graduate. They started and they stopped. Say on me, the box stops. Amen. Amen. Things are going to change because I'm a member of this family. You know, Bible says that the swing that is joined to the living, there is hope. Because you are living, hmm. everybody joined to you, they must have hope. Hi-ya. Hi-ya. Everybody, when they are hopeless, because they are joined to you, when they see you, they see hope. Yes. yes. When you show up, hope shows up. Yes. Even without saying anything, when they see you, oh. But why is it today? Kilo the best. Not stand up. Kilo the best. Not stand up. When they see you, they see hope. Hope wells up in them because. You are joined to the living. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is my prayer that you will recognize who you are in Christ Jesus. Amen. And you will fulfill your role and your assignment that heaven has placed you in that hope Amen. in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Amen. You will not be a passing mark on this earth. Yeah. You will fulfill your assignment in the name of Jesus. Yeah. In this ministry, you will fulfill your assignment. Yeah. Whether you like it or not, God will use you. Yeah. God will use me yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I will not be a passing fancy in this world. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. God. Esther needed somebody to slap her head into mm. reality. Yeah. Because, you know, some of us were in comfort. And we don't realize that there are, there are people that we have been sent to. We are people, there are people that are, you know, resting on the fact that you cannot make mistake. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's my prayer that that person that God will send to you to bring you back to your course, the person that will bring you back, set you back on your course, God will direct them to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you have missed them by adventure, you have, you know, missed them in the past, or you've done something that made you miss them. Today, God is reconnecting you back to your helpers in the name of Jesus. You must know your race. You must run your own race. Hallelujah. A wife cannot run the race of her husband. A husband cannot run the race for his children. No matter how much I love my children, I cannot run their race for them. There is a specific assignment that heaven has given to them and they will fulfill it in the name of Jesus. You must run your own race. You must identify the rule of engagement. That whatever everybody is doing, you must know that when you you do it, it might not work for you. So you must know your own rule of engagement. Chile, you are supposed to produce music this way. Your music is supposed to be this genre. Your music is supposed to cater to a certain and your music is supposed to be for Africa or for the old world. You must know the rule of engagement. Hallelujah. Run your race. Disrespect the detractors. Those who want to distract you are not in your best interest. They don't want you to finish and get the crown of glory. Today it is my prayer that everyone distracting you from your assignment, from your race, from getting to the finishing line, today God will descend. This, this dissociate you from them in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You will finish well yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. There's something about starting and there's something about finishing. You can finish and not get a good price. And you can finish and get a good price. It's my prayer that you will finish well. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not just start and stop. You will start, finish, and finish well. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You need to also know the steps to take for your race. Is my own race marathon? Or my own race is just 
100 meter. And I just finished. You know, some people, they have to do hodu. Ah, they mean they rebel. Some people, their race is just 100 meter. And they are done. And some people, they will have to pass the button. Somebody else will have to pass the button. Just know your race. Follow your path. And it's my prayer that you will not miss it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You need to take the right step. And you need to take the first step. Mm. Some people are still waiting for everything to be together. That until I get a studio like LG. Okay. Until I have the machine that, you know. Uh, who, is, who is into fashion here? What are you doing? What are you? Can you just start? Can you do what? Just start. Can you just start? Don't look at the frill. Don't look at how somebody else start their own. Don't be distracted about how. Can you just focus on your assignment? Hallelujah. Take the first step. And this one, you need to stay on your lane and not run another man's race. If your assignment is to be an evangelist, be an evangelist. If your assignment is to be an apostle, be an apostle. If your assignment, if your assignment is to be uh, a leader in the industry, run your race. That is why I said earlier that you need to pray to God to deliver to you your own assignment. And when he delivers it to you, start. Hallelujah. Praise God. The third person, I'm sure you can guess, is our ultimate father, our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! The pattern son. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, is the, he came to reconcile men back to God. He is the one that we should pattern after. If you are confused about your race, just focus on Jesus. It will deliver to you your own assignment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Finally, put a must on your life. I must win so. I must do well. I must be great. I must be. Put a must on your life. Put a premium on yourself. If nobody has told you before you are great, and tell yourself, I must be great. I must finish my course. I will finish this race. I will not be tired. I will not be weary. I must be great. In the name of Jesus, put a must on your life. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. As wives, as husband, one of the things I would encourage you to ask is, what is my purpose for this man or to help him fulfill his assignment, or what is my purpose in the life of my husband? Hallelujah. Praise God. In as much as you can't do his assignment, there is a purpose for you to be joined to, to, to that man. Because his assignment is personal to him. But you must be there to hate him, not to deny him. You know, there are some women that, because their own opinion is not what is being taken, they want to destroy every other thing. Just because you did not take their advice. When you now come back. Hallelujah. Praise God. What is my role in this organization that I'm working in? Don't just work in an organization like somebody that begs to apply. Remember I said put a must on yourself. You have value. You're a person of value. Yes. You are not ordinary. Yes. That alone should settle it. That you are not ordinary. In this organization, because I'm there, things prosper. Yes. Yes. Because I'm there, things move forward. Because I'm here, everything works in line. Hallelujah. Praise God. Why are you working there? Don't see yourself as an ordinary employee that, you know, you are just a wish away. No. No, 
I'm a person of value. I'm a person of value. I am a person of value. Wherever I go to, people recognize my value and they are willing to pay for it. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Know who you are in that organization and be able to, you know, let people know that you are a person of value. Don't forget, place a must on yourself. One of the must is I must win soul because it's a general assignment. I must win soul. Whatever it is, I must win soul. I will be great. There's one song here on light. And he used to ask me, Mommy, that is it a gospel, is it a Christian song or is it a worldly song? But because it's a good song that I will be rich till I die. I didn't say you should sing you. <laughs> Put a must on yourself. Hallelujah. What is the scope of God's call on your life? In this ministry, what is the scope of your assignment? So that when we're asking you to do things, you're not feeling bad that, ah, why are they telling me? What? You know your assignment. You know that you are supposed to lead men. You are supposed to win souls. You are supposed to make the church move forward. You are supposed to make things work in, in God's house. You are not worshiping in an hotel. Hallelujah. I know my assignment, and I will fulfill it in the name of Jesus. 